Hi, it is time for another incredibly infrequent video from me and this time I'm going to answer some questions I've had recently about being a mature student. So, shh, you can hear the kitten outside. He really, really wants to come and play. I realised that I am on my, my desk chair so I'm swivelling about quite a lot. I'm going to try and stop that, keep my feet on the ground. A few people have said, um, when you make your next video, can you make it about life as a mature student? So the first question is, can you explain further if there are any differences with being a mature student? Yes, yes, there are differences. And this is an incredibly complex and difficult question to answer because mature students have so many different backgrounds and there are very different stages in their lives but they all get lumped together because they're over the ages of 21 or 25 if you're a postgrad. There are two other mature students on my course both in their 30s um, and we've talked about the pros and cons of, of being mature students several times. Um, really though I mean there are pros and cons whether you're a mature student or a, an 18 year old. Um, I think the only thing I would change would be to start my degree at 25 instead of 28. But really that's a tiny, tiny difference in the uh, grand scheme of things. I'll be honest, sometimes I do feel like I am behind where I should be at this point in my life, but that's not a particularly helpful way of thinking. I'm kind of fortunate in that I don't have, I don't have a family, I don't have mortgage, I don't have my own family. I do have a family. Um, I don't have a mortgage, uh, I don't have a lot of bills to pay, I don't have, anyone else to think of really apart from myself so I'm really 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 lucky in that I could take this huge risk and the only person it's really going to affect day to day is me. I guess I would probably say try not to worry too much about the differences because um, that would be the least of your worries really when you start your degree. <laughs> Older students tend to have a better idea of, of what they're looking for and what they want out of life and what they want out of their degree and this is a huge advantage however I was discussing this with my friend Michael who's another mature student and we were sort of saying that uh, it can sometimes feel like this is a second chance and sometimes even a, a last chance and you really don't want to screw it up. So you can end up putting a lot of pressure on yourself. So don't do that. Right. Is there a big cultural divide between you and the teenagers? Yes, but I think for me that cultural divide is mostly down to me being out of touch and I was never really in touch in the first place. Um, but there are cultural reference points that um, you just don't share. For instance, there's... Uh, there was a guy in our year um, and I turned to my tutor group who I was sitting next to in a lecture and basically said he is a doppelganger for Scott Bakula from um, Quantum Leap era and but those instances are few and far between because they usually say things that I have no idea what they're talking about um, but for the most part there is no problem at all I adore my tutor group they are fab and they are all 21 or younger um, so yeah it's one of those things that you can't really um, mitigate too much. You've just got to get on with it. And for the most part, it's not, it's not an issue at all. This is an important question. How have you funded the course? This is probably one of the biggest and most important obstacles for people thinking about going back into education. How on earth do you finance it? Especially for people who already have a degree because it does make it slightly more difficult. I only really know about the ins and outs of studying in England. And I'll talk to you about my experiences. Um, but if you don't have a degree, it is fairly simple. If you don't have a degree already, if you're if you're looking to do a second degree, you can study any STEM subject on a part time basis. So I'm doing I'm doing a three year degree over four years, which works really well for me. And you can get a tuition fee loan, and you can now get a maintenance loan, uh, which covers a lot of the costs. I started slightly too early for that, but I work part time during term time, um, managing the social media for my school and doing open days and things like that and then in the summer I try and find full-time work that is related to my degree so this year I've got an internship again um, and that's where I kind of save up for the rest of the year and make sure that I'm not putting myself in a difficult position so I can just focus on my degree the rest of the time. If the financial side is worrying you a little bit then do the sums before you think about jumping back into education but as long as your you know essential costs are covered don't let that put you off um, it is difficult going from a salary and having nice holidays and being able to go out with your friends to not being able to do that a lot of the time. But if it's something that is really worth it, making that change uh, is possible and not that difficult. So the way I see it is that it's, 
it's not really a big compromise in the long term. What were your entry requirements to get onto the foundation year and what did your previous job have to do with physics? I like this question because on paper I am not a physicist at all. I have uh, an E at GCSE in maths, so actually I had an E, I went back and got a C. Um, my parents didn't go to uni or my dad started uni but he didn't finish it, he went to art college. Um, my mum is a retired horticultural scientist so there was a little bit of that in my life growing up. I think she would have loved me to do uh, biology or zoology or something like that. Um, the first time I met a physicist I was in my 20s and I think I was already reading pop sci books of Fabric of the Cosmos maybe? Anyway I was helping out one of my dad's ultra running events because he is a mad ultra runner and he was running this event and he roped me in obviously um, and one of the competitors uh, who stopped at the um, checkpoint where I was stopped for a chat for a little while and he was a he was an academic he was a physicist and it was the first time I sort of had a glimpse into what that actually even meant um, and my previous jobs they've all been in education uh, I'm very passionate about education um, I was an education advisor before I came back to university which is kind of like academic citizens advice bureau it was a really interesting job and I loved it uh, I was a teaching assistant in the secondary school for for a year or so and that was in the science department but that was also when I'd already decided or was looking into studying physics or becoming a science teacher or something like that entry requirements so for the foundation year at Nottingham anyway the entry requirements I needed a B in GCSE maths and science which I don't have and I needed BBB at A level which I don't have at BBC um, there's a trend here but there was a particular disclaimer in the um, application information that made me feel like I still had a shot that I could um, apply which was in recognition of our applicants varied experience and educational pathways the University of Nottingham employs a flexible admissions policy we may make some applicants an offer lower than advertised depending on their personal and educational circumstances. Reading that made me think, well, I've got a degree, um, I've done an open university course, but I didn't finish it. Um, and I have life experience, so I will go and talk to them and see what happens. And they were very supportive. I reckon that's enough for me today. Uh, I probably won't make another video for another six months. Um, although I get my exam results next week and I am so nervous, even though they're completely out of my hands right now. This time last year I just I just ran away and went to Florida. Um, but now I've just got a week. Um, but I really hope the days go quickly. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've had a fantastic year. Second year has been brilliant. Um, I've got a brilliant summer planned. I've got the internship. I'm learning Python. I've got trips to London and Vienna planned. Hopefully I will make another video about that. And now I'm going to go and pack my house up because I'm moving in a few days. So. Uh, Bye. Oh, and if there's any questions I didn't answer that you want me to answer, then feel free to comment. Bye.